Act mag, now another test. I've already tested it with one loaded mag drops, uh, topped off the mag. That was fine, eight plus one. Now I just, I'm gonna load this uh, by racking it without the lock back and dropping it, which car says not to. I think mine's already, already broken in in 40 rounds. Uh, to make sure it's really broken in though, first time firing it with, yes, very rare 230 grain ball plus P. I thought this would be a rocket ship out of 22 ounces. I just did four shots with the regular 230 ball, one handed, some head shots, uh, and that really wasn't bad at all. Um, you know, maybe the low bore axis, the offset center with the recoil system and stuff, maybe it does help control the recoil because it's not as bad as I thought. I'm gonna hand rack it right now and see if it feeds with a proper hand racket, a push pull. Got loaded just fine. Topping off the mag with this rare 230 plus P ball ammo. Hope it doesn't blow up the gun. Hope it doesn't blow up my hand. And uh, everything works fine. So let's see how I do. That's a lot of some snap, but boy, I like it. This is a very fun snap. Um, it's not tearing up my hands too much. The front strap is a little rough. But right, I think a second shot on that double tap got bubbled in my hand because it is. Oh baby, this is a flamethrower. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. And perfect functioning with 230 grand plus P. And lock back with the act mag. CW45. Good stuff. People are just idiots and they don't know how to break their guns and before they shoot it and they don't clean it before they shoot it, they don't do anything.